of the concentration is on the fard, which is, we have to. But what we are missing is that the deen and the akhlaq, they go hand in hand. What's the dalil? In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he was describing the true believers, the successful believers, what did he say? قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Successful are the believers. And then he, Subhana, mentioned few characteristics of these successful believers. The first one, الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ They have khushu' in their salat. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّهُوِ مُعْرِضُونَ And second one is staying away from vain talk. Which is akhlaq. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِلزَّكَاةِ فَاعِلُونَ And they give their zakat. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ And then the one who protect their chastity. They lower their gaze, they stay away from haram. Deen, akhlaq. Deen, akhlaq. Hand in hand. One of the signs that you are a great Muslim is that you leave what does not concern you. I'll give you some examples. So how many years you've been married? Five years. Oh, mashallah. How many children? Um, nothing yet, Allah. No children for five years? Wow. Is everything okay? How much do you make, brother? How much are they paying you? Well, I, a $1,000 a week. That's it? So-and-so is making more. And so on. After this poison that is thrown, Wallahi, many times fights at home happen. Divorce take places because you are interfering in matters that does not concern you. And Rasulullah look at this hadith. If you are a true believer, you leave what does not concern you. That means I'm going to concentrate and focus on my jannah, on my amal, on my family, on my job. And this will show how great is my Islam. Hassan al-Rasri said something profound. He said, one of the signs that Allah turned away from you is that you are always concentrating on what does not concern you. And Rasulullah in the hadith, the very famous hadith, he's asking the Sahaba, who is the bankrupt? The bankrupt is the one who comes on the day of judgment with salat, with sadaqat. He's doing everything that includes us all. But he took the money of that one. He beat that one. He transgressed the rights of someone. So look at this. His akhlaq ruined all his ibadat. Finally, very important point, because something might be misunderstood. This might lead people to think to stop ordering good and forbidding evil. When it comes to ordering good and forbidding evil, it's a wajib. So if I see something wrong, I do not say that does not concern me that my son does not pray. I do not say that does not concern me that my daughter does not wear the hijab. No, no, I have to say something. I have to do something, especially if the people are very close to us.